Equipment's graduate development program offers the opportunity to choose a career in technical areas such as in construction and mining to become a well-rounded leader right from the very start. But to tell us more about this very interesting program, we're very pleased to be joined in studio by Ms. Lynette Mentor, the head of learning at the Academy of uh, Bali World Equipment. Lynette, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Alicia, and thank you for this opportunity. You come bearing such good news. Tell us all about uh, the Bali World Equipment program. What does it entail? Um, thank you, Alicia. The Bala World Equipment Graduate Development Program started last year. It is a 24-month program. So um, we are, we've already started with the first intake in 2017. They started on the 1st of March, but we are still busy recruiting for this 2017 program. Mm -hmm. So there's still an opportunity for uh, young people to apply, wow. uh, and that closes on the 20th of March. But um, just some more insights into the actual program. Yeah. So, um, what, so as you mentioned, there's a technical uh, stream as well as a specialist stream. So the technical field is looking more at candidates with a uh, BSc engineering or B, a B, uh, bachelor's of engineering yes. in either uh, industrial um, engineering uh, or mechanical or mining mm -hmm. and then in the specialist field that would be the areas that supports the business um, in, in the specialist areas such as um, in, in our human resources division as well as marketing um, and financing, etc. Wow, that sounds very interesting. Yes. Tell us about the recruitment uh, program. How are the graduates chosen? Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, what is the application uh, process? process? What does it entail? Okay, so um, we uh, recruit via our career portal, which is on the Barla World Equipment uh, website. Mm -hmm. And there's um, a profile of the program as well as an application form that needs to be completed and submitted together with all the relevant documentation requested mm -hmm. on there. Uh, we then do a, a screening of, of, of that, um, uh, those applications. And then we also look for um, between 60 to 65 percent um, average year mark. Mm. Um, and then we do a shortlisting process. We then do a first round of interviews as well as a second round of interviews, as well as assessments. So that's basically the... Jeez, uh, pro, pro how pro. many beneficiaries do you eventually choose for, for per year, let's say? Well, Alicia, that would depend on the, um, the business requirements for a particular year. So okay. like for last year, we had an intake of nine. Mm -hmm. And then this year, um, so far, as I said, the March intake, yes. we had nine. And then we're looking for a further five or six ah. uh, to start in May. Mm, so yes. tell us a bit more, Lynette then about the benefits of this program does it guarantee uh, a, a formal employment once you are done with this program uh, within the company um, so for us to make this type of investment in in a program like this it is because we ultimately would like to um, manage our talent and employ people absolutely but it is also merit-based so it is performance based mm. so what we do is enable and grow our people and empower them so that they are able to take up positions mm -hmm. but ultimately it, it is about an individual and their attitude and their performance and how they really integrate um, into how are they that. assessed um, <laughs> during um, the program during the program yeah. so we do have quite a formal way in which we do that and this program program is sponsored at the highest levels um, within our organization. Yeah. So um, there's various ways in which we do the, the assessments and reviews. So one of the ways in which we do it is every six months there is an executive review. Uh -huh. So these young people actually present to the executives who evaluate them according to set criteria and give them feedback. As part of a real world, that like in a working absolutely. environment. Absolutely. So the pressure my, is on to perform goodness. right from the beginning. <laughs> Are they getting um, any incentives while they're doing all of this, Lynette? Um, I had to ask. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we've got a, a, a structured uh, package around um, what we want to attract mm -hmm. into this program. So, yeah, so um, we do this so for over 24 months period, Alicia. Mm -hmm. There will be four evaluations and um, the last evaluation is actually the major evaluation where they do a big business implementation project mm -hmm. in an area in the business that they feel that they want to explore a bit further. Mm. And so then hopefully that um, 
pushes them into the career path that they um, um, would like to take further. Yeah, but tell us more about this. Why women in particular? We know that we, you know the technical fields always struggle in the country with women, uh, women representation in those uh, in those sectors. Yes. <laughs> so we are in a tough competition for talent, mm -hmm. and um, our company has taken an approach that says um, the more diverse our workforce is, the more benefits there are Absolutely. to the organisation. Mm -hmm. And so we are on this drive um, to uh, get the top female talent in the technical fields yeah. and to retain them uh, mm. within our business. But I mean, 40% uh, 40, 40 of female employees by 2020, okay. that is a bit ambitious, hey, Lynette? But it is an achievable goal. It is an achievable goal, and we've got all our plans in place, mm -hmm. and we're continuously monitoring and reviewing this. Um, and it's something that we take very seriously and we are committed to it. Mm, Lynette, let's talk about this. Are you accepting graduates from, uh, you know, your known South African universities? Or as we know these days, you know, uh, the minister has been encouraging some students to, to go and further their studies at TVET colleges, for example. Are you not specific about which background uh, your graduates actually uh, that apply actually come from? Um, yeah, as I said at the beginning, mm. we're looking at for this specific program, for Bachelor of um, uh, Science Engineering. Okay. Or, uh, Bachelor of so Engineering. So they must have completely graduated. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Or they might still be in the process in the of final graduating, year. but they've received their final results. Mm -hmm. um, but we do have opportunities um, with, with other programs that we are running, Alicia. Mm -hmm. Tell so, us more uh, yes. So we do <laughs> partner with other government agencies um, around the Techno Girls program that oh, is wow. also around encouraging um, subject choices as well as careers around STEM, yeah. which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Mm -hmm. So we've got that as an entry type of level program, and it's really around giving exposure to high school girls around what are the opportunities available within companies such as Barlow World Equipment. My so goodness. we partner on that specific program. We also run an apprenticeship program which is a heavy earth moving equipment mechanic qualification mm -hmm. and we're also driving a, a female intake there and um, those are some of the programs where there's other opportunities for, uh, for, the, for the various levels of skills mm. that we have within our country. Lynette, let's go through those uh, very, very important details again. You told us about the website where they can obviously get yes. more information. And yes. you've just encouraged uh, some, uh, some students in, in high school as well to have a look at the website and, and, and have a look at what you know they might be interested in, particularly when they choose their subjects. Tell us about the website and also the closing uh, time for the entries okay. for this year's intake. So, uh, for the graduate development program, um, our, our Barlow World Equipment website um, on the careers portal, um, you will find more information about the program as well as the application forms. For uh, the Techno Girls uh, program, mm -hmm. that is managed through an agency and um, young l ladies are encouraged to work s um, to c go through that agency. Lynette, thank you so much and best of luck with this. I know a lot of thank guys you. have already been asking about the forms, but it is for females. Thank you so much thank for you. that. That was Miss Lynette Mentor, Head of Learning at uh, the Academy at uh, Barlow World Equipment, talking to us about their Women Empowerment Program. Let's now hand over the reins to our sports guru, Madomo Gekana, who's way over there with the sports news. What have we got for us now? Thank you, Alicia, and warm greetings here from the sports desk. Let's update.